welcome to the period two suspense project showcase. I am your host, Isabella Bruce. Over the course of this showcase, we'll be sharing some of our favorite videos that include creative camera angles, long shots, and building tension through editing. All of these projects were scripted, filmed, and edited by students in our period two media broadcasting class. To start, we will show a project that displays great use of creative camera angles. You are not alone, which clearly doesn't apply to me because I am so, so lonely. Call me. It's starring Quinn O'Neill and shot and edited by Brett McGullick and Brendan McKay. I guess you could say I'm not alone anymore because here is Brett, who created the storyboard for this project. Brett, what was your favorite shot in this video? My favorite shot of this video was whenever we shot it through the car window when Quinn was pulling in because just coming to school, that's not really suspenseful, but we believed that getting that shot through that car window and dipping down at the end really created another level of suspense because it really showed that somebody else was there. The creative camera angles in your video were fantastic. Thank you for sharing, Brett. Next, we have Georgia Krasinski and Allison O'Neill's video, Unknown Caller. This project displays all three techniques wonderfully, but we specifically love their long shot. See if you can find it in the video for a Winto Green or a JR, otherwise known as a Jolly Rancher. Not again. Not again. I don't know why they keep calling me. Oh, I guess I'll answer now. Hello? Oh. Okay. Um, who is this? Uh, uh, bye. I'll throw this way later. What was that noise?
Allison, girl, you should know to block spam. Rookie move. We are now here with Georgia, who operated the camera. Georgia, before I ask you about your project, I have a joke for you. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Gladys. Gladys who? Aren't you glad it's not you acting in this video? <laughs> yeah, I am. Georgia, how did you do the long shot? So we wanted the long shot, we wanted the Kit Kat to be the focal point of the long shot, so we put it in the foreground and we made sure that it was focused on, and then I set the candy on a rock so that I'd be able to tilt the camera up and you could see the candy and Allison at the same time, and then she went behind the camera and grabbed the candy. That was a great example of a long shot. Next up, we're going to watch an amazing example of building tension through editing by Hannah Misha, Kara Liguori, and Cece Bacow. Whoa, I'm feeling kind of tense. Wonder if the star herself, Hannah, can help me chill out a bit. Hannah, can you tell me what building tension through editing is? So building tension through editing is basically a technique that's done after you film the video. And what it is, is that you um, use editing techniques to build tension, true to the name. So like it could be through adding music or it could be through slowing or speeding a video up, or in the case of our project, um, we cut back and forth between two different shots, and it's a technique that's really effective in um, horror movies to um, have the audience feeling tense. Thank you, Hannah. I don't know about you, but I hate the woods. Bugs, prickly bushes, and murderers. We now go to Evelyn Gang, Lauren Moore, and Ryan Pastor's video, Murder in the Woods. I don't think you will ever catch me within a one mile radius of the woods. Now sitting next to me we have Lauren, aka the first hopeless victim. Lauren, what was your favorite part of this video? I would say my favorite part was when I had to cover Ryan in the blood but for the dragging scene because he just kept on um, complaining about how gross the feeling of the fake blood was. So. Thank you, Lauren. Well, this is all the time we have today. Be sure to join us next time for another Period 2 Showcase. Be sure to check for anything suspenseful. 
Hope you have a spectacular Halloween.